One of the strongest forces in the world of Naruto are the tailed beasts. These creatures boast tremendous power and are generally contained by being sealed into powerful or not so powerful ninja. These people are called Jinchuriki. The strongest Jinchuriki in Naruto are able to control their sealed beasts to the fullest extent, often by building positive relationships with them over time, but sometimes by force. Those who are less powerful are overcome by the beasts, unable to use their ability fully or stop them from destroying things against their will. For this list, we're ranking the Jinchuriki from strongest to weakest, so comment down those whose power leaves you in awe. At the top of the list, we have Hagoromo Otsutsuki. Hagoromo defeated the Ten Tails, which is actually the combined form of Kaguya Otsutsuki and the God Tree, and sealed it inside of his body, making him its Jinchuriki. He ended up dividing it into nine separate beings in order to make it harder for his mother to regain power. Capable of defeating entities with more power than a god, Hagoromo is clearly one of the strongest characters in the series, let alone as a Jinchuriki. At the number two, we have Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto struggles to manage the nine-tailed fox sealed inside of him at first, but once he learns to communicate and get along with Kurama, he's able to effectively use their powers, eventually being able to fully transform, fight as separate entities, use healing powers, and create powerful weapons like tailed beast balls. Even without Kurama, Naruto is strong as hell with techniques that include Sage Mode, Rasengan, and more. At the third, we have Madara Uchiha. Long before he absorbed the Ten Tails into his body, Madara was already one of the most terrifyingly strong characters in the entire series. His plan was to create an infinite Tsukuyomi that would harvest chakra from humankind while they dreamed of an alternate reality. He did this as a power grab, and also because he thought it was the only way to achieve peace. He'd probably have succeeded if not for Naruto and Sasuke's heroic actions or Obito's about face at the end. The fourth would be Obito Uchiha. After nearly destroying all of Konoha, Obito Uchiha absorbs the ten-tailed beast into his body, becoming its new Jinchuriki. This gives him access to a terrifying range of powers, including the ability to completely heal all of his own injuries, the ability to control the ten tails tree form, the ability to use truth-seeking balls and more. He was no slouch before all this either. His Mangekyo Sharingan lets him open up space-time for fast and easy travel, and that's just one of his abilities. Similarly, at number five, we have Minato Namikaze. Minato wasn't a Jinchuriki for long. Actually, it only lasted for a few short minutes. In order to protect the village from the nine-tailed fox, he sealed the yin half of its chakra into his own body and sealed the yang half into his newborn son, Naruto. He passed away in the process. When he's eventually reincarnated, viewers get to see him utilize the beast's chakra, but by that point, he's more than demonstrated his strength and heroism in other ways. The sixth position is held by none other than Killer B. Killer B is one of the strongest ninja in the Land of Lightning, in no small part because he's the holder of the eight-tailed beast. His partnership with the beast lets him transform fully into tailed beast mode and do things like create tornadoes and shoot ink. He can also use wrestling moves, wield a sword, use lightning release, and plenty more, but he'd rather be known for his Enka rap than for his fighting skills. At seventh, we have Gara. The one-tailed beast, Shukaku, was sealed into Gara when he was still in utero. While it granted him monstrous power, namely the ability to manipulate sand in a variety of terrifying ways, it also has some serious drawbacks. Until Gara improves his relationship with Shukaku, he can't fall asleep or it'll take over his body and go on a rampage. By the end of the series, the two live separately. Gara is the Kazekage and remains a strong ninja, despite no longer being a Jinchuriki, and Shukaku is able to enjoy freedom. Moving on to the eighth, Kushina Uzumaki, hailing from the chakra-rich Uzumaki clan and boasting a huge chakra stone of her own, Kushina Uzumaki was a natural choice to inherit the nine-tailed fox from Mito. That's why she was strong enough to endure the nine tails being extracted from her body without instantly losing her life, a process few other Jinchuriki could survive. We never get to see her using her full potential, but all signs point to her being an extremely powerful kunoichi. At number nine, we have Yagura Karatachi. Jinchuriki of the three tails, Yagura Karatachi was a formidable shinobi. In addition to water release techniques, he could use his obu's powers almost perfectly, including full transformations and a technique called Coral Palm, 
that let him grow coral on any surface. But he wasn't able to use his powers for his own purposes. Instead, he was manipulated by Madara and forced to commit tyrannical acts against his own people. At number 10, Yugito. Hailing from Kumagakure, Yugito was a jonin who housed the two-tailed beast in her body. She could transform into the two-tailed beast and use that power up to shoot massive fireballs at people. She can also send flaming balls of hair shaped like mice after people and grow her fingernails and toenails into blade-like claws. She passed away when the two tails was extracted from her body. The eleventh would be Roshi. Before it was extracted from his body, Iwagakure Ninja Roshi was the Jinchuriki of the Four Tails. In addition to his Jinchuriki transformation, Roshi is best known for his powerful kick Genkai lava release. At number 12, we have Mito Uzumaki. Mito Uzumaki was one of the founders of Konoha and was also Hashirama Senju's wife. While we didn't really get to see her make use of the nine-tailed fox sealed into her body, Kushina has remarked that Mito was a strong ninja with exceptional skill in Fujutsu sealing techniques. She had boundless chakra reserves both from her Uzumaki heritage and from being a Jinchuriki. And she understood that in order to live successfully with an angry tailed beast, one had to fill themselves with love. 13. Fu. Unlike most Jinchuriki, Fu actually had a happy life in Takigakure, if a secluded one. This was thanks to the efforts of Shibuki, the village leader. She still had to endure discrimination. But when she decided to leave her ordinary life behind to take the Chunin exam, she calls attention to herself and ends up having the seven-tailed beast extracted from her body, losing her life in the process. Before that happens, she's able to do things like use the tailed beast's arms as wings that let her fly, use nets, webs, and cocoons to trap enemies, heal allies, and deal physical damage. 14. Utakata originated from Kirigakure and was the Jinchuriki for the Six Tails. He typically fought with explosive soap bubbles that he blew out of a pipe. He was reluctant to actually make use of the tailed beast's powers, but when he did, it boosted his chakra, let him move in a more malleable, slug-like way, and shoot corrosive acid and gas. Transformed, he was strong enough to defeat two of Nagato's six paths of pain. He passed away when the Akatsuki extracted the beast from his body. 15. Han was an Iwagakure shinobi whose body housed the five tails. Without drawing on Kokuo's power, he used a technique called boil release that combined water and fire release to create powerful steam-based attacks. He could fully transform into Kokuo and used his horns and chakra arms for powerful physical attacks. Like most of the Jinchuriki, he passed away when the Akatsuki extracted the five tails but was reincarnated to fight in the fourth shinobi war. 16. Bunpuku Bunpuku was an elderly priest who once served as the Jinchuriki for the one-tailed beast in Sunagakure. Unlike Gara, he was able to easily and fully control the beast without being affected by its rages, and was able to successfully seal it into a tea kettle. Menma Namikaze Menma Namikaze is an alternate reality version of Naruto who appeared in Tenten's infinite Tsukuyomi dream. Instead of the tragic past Naruto endured, Menma was raised by his family and gained the Nine Tails power through a safe, controlled transfer. He has full access to the beast's powers, including its ability to sense negative emotions and access to a metric ton of chakra. He's even able to manifest a life-sized version of it during battle. He just, you know, doesn't exist because he's a product of Genjutsu. Rin Nohara, poor Rin. Madara kidnapped her and forcibly implanted the three tails into her body along with a special tag that would cause it to escape and go on a rampage the minute she set foot in Konoha. In order to protect her village, she asked Kakashi to take her life, then got in the way of an attack meant for someone else when he refused. She showed some serious bravery in that moment, but we'll never know how strong she might have become if she'd survived. Let's go, Sasuke! Yeah. Strong too. Ooh. 